Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're back with another LEGO Harry Potter years 5 through 7 video for you. In fact, this one happens to be level 16, Sword and Locket Free Play. Requirements are pretty much the same. Strong, dark magic, and key character, which can all be found in our Preparing for Free Play video. But we're going to go ahead and go a little, uh, well, we're going to do a little ice fishing or a little bit of frosty swimming, depending on how you look at it. And uh, it's going to start off by heading over to the old lit up carpet in the leaky cauldron we're gonna go to the bottom left corner literally and choose sword and locket free play of course we're gonna choose our strong character as the game didn't really uh well it wasn't very nice to us about picking the strong character so all right here we are we've officially started we've skipped the cutscenes. we've sped this up a little bit and i want you to take note of that jellyfish off to the left hand side there and if you want, you can actually even take it out. There are three jellyfish scattered throughout this level, but we want to get them all in a row. And there just so happens to be a house crest piece right around the corner that we can get that kind of would have uh, broken up that whole flow of getting all those in a row. So we're going to go ahead and use Leviosa on the right hand side to go ahead and saw our way through this ice. I don't know what it is, it's some sort of a bank or something. So we chop that down and now we've got access to this lower level. We're going to use Luke us to go ahead and remove those devil snares or tentacly like things and we're gonna go right on up and use dark magic on this a black and red box so go ahead and shake it up and boo you can shout look at that we're gonna get the red or Gryffindor house crest piece right there now we are gonna double back and go back up to that jellyfish now so go ahead and make your way up there and trash this bad boy that's right zapper Rooney for you look at that we've got one of three now the next one's actually gonna be just past the big crab we have to mess with down here so hey did you guys ever see our crab that we had we actually named him after a portland trailblazer his name was alan crab so we named our crab alan and uh, he was pretty cool i'll have to show some pictures on instagram if i haven't uh, already posted them up there alan is no longer with us unfortunately uh their life expectancy was roughly six to twelve months we actually had him for about 18 so we got really lucky with our guy he used to eat all sorts of fish and all sorts of things it was it was fun so anyhow uh, i'm sure this probably uh, irks a few of you guys out there vegetarians and such who are not into the eating of other animals so my bad but uh, anyhow it was fun it was an interesting experience so you saw the second jellyfish which was right past the crab the third one is actually going to be up at the top by where the line is now you want to make sure that you get that before you uh take on this line and speaking of before see over on the right hand side there's that character token under that purpley like brick well we need to go ahead and catch us a fish by using leviosa to put the hook on the line here and then we get one of these uh I forget the name of these types of fish, but uh, hey, he's going to come over and take a big old chomp, rip down the piece that we need. It's actually a, apparently a, the fisherman didn't have any luck, and he got, uh, well, he died fishing up above. So we're going to go ahead and use them bones, them bones, them skeleton bones. We're going to build up a hammer, but don't smash the pieces right in front of you. Lift it up and over and to the wall, and boo, you can shout. Get your hammer time on and grab that Harry Locket Edition character token. Now, uh, there is a minute or five in between this next collectible and the one we just got so uh, feel free to use the quick links down below in the video description the next one's going to actually be for character token ron underwear uh, otherwise we're just going to go ahead and keep on keeping on we're going to smash those three points with the hammer and release the sword and uh yes again we've removed the cutscene, and here we are standing up in this wide open area now uh, we actually have to head towards the back right corner so come towards your screen and over to the right and you'll see that there is a snowman's hat or a uh i guess it's a what is that um uh, bowler hat? Is that what they call those things? I forget what we call those things. But anyways, we're going to use Leviosa to lift him up. We actually use dark magic, but it's the same, really. And uh, lifted him up, and look at that. We got the character token for Ron Underwear. Underwear? Under there? <laughs> that was a joke we used to play all the time at our house. Reese used to always try to get us and fool us to say, What's that? What's that over there? And you'd say, Underwear. And then he'd go, Ha, 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 ha. It was his whole trick trying to get you to say underwear. That was like a bad word to him at one point. 
Boy, I wish that was still the case now. I wish that was some of the, one of the worst words he used. But, hey, life goes on, I guess, and people get older. So, anyhow, uh, yeah, over in the back left corner, so away from your screen, in the back left corner by this down tree, you might have noticed a Weasley box kind of buried in the snow. Lift it up with Leviosa, and then, of course, use your favorite Weasley to open it up, and then attach the firework, which actually goes big and bada boom right up above you. And look at that. We've got a blue or uh, Ravenclaw housecrest piece. Boy, I almost had a little brain tootsie there. But uh, all right, so uh, you probably remembered that you there was a pink base plate over on the right-hand side. Right when we started this area, we walked right up over to it. Uh, or a bag of tricks pad, as I like to call it. We're going to go ahead and switch to Hermione and hop on that bag of tricks pad and see what it brings us. So Let's see what you got, what you got, what you got. Okay, first of all, we got to find Hermione. She's in here somewhere, I promise. There she is. All right, so uh, let's see here. Inside the bag, we find what? A giant mushroom. That was weird, but we'll go ahead and get our ba boing on. And look at that. Da doing. Up top we go. And look at that. Just a quick jump up top allows us to grab that green or Slytherin house crest piece. And that's actually going to wrap it up for those. Next up, we've got some dark magic bits right behind us. So we're going to shake it up with our favorite dark magic character. And look at that. We've rescued that student in peril. So that's right, buddy. Turn that frown upside down. And before dropping down below, make sure you uh, access some 3D gogglers in the old Quibbler dispenser there. And uh, that's right, we're going to go ahead and use the Spectre Specs up top. There are three spots you need to use these goggles. The first one is up top to the right of the tree where we just got them. Uh, the second one is actually down below in the back right corner. And then the third one is down in the front left corner. So got to make your way all the way over there, down and around. No, not the back left corner, Brian, the front left corner. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way down there. And where is it at? There we go. Some glowing. Nope, those are the wrong glowing bricks. These are not the bricks you are looking for. These are the bricks you are looking for. All right, so we've built it up and check it out. We've got ourselves a character token. That's right, it's Hermione in the gray coat. So, hey, guess what? Pat yourself on the back as that is the last collectible for this level. Now, there's a lot of gameplay left. You're probably scratching your head going, Brian, why don't we just save and quit? Well, normally we would love to do that. Like if we were just playing for fun, that's how we would do it. We would hit the old options or start button depending on which controller you're yielding. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and switch to the uh, Return to the Leaky Cauldron and then choose the Save and Exit option. Now, if you miss that, uh, you might have to play this level all over again. So that's one downside to using that option is if you make a mistake, you might end up having to play it over again. But uh, we're going to go ahead and finish this out as per use. We know that some of you guys don't like to watch our story videos, and you just use these free play for not only how to beat the levels, but also how to find those collectibles. So we'll go ahead and finish it out, assuming that maybe you haven't finished it yet. But on the same, same note, you know... Um, the story video you can't get all these collectibles you'd have to have certain characters that you have to beat the story to get so look at me i'm grindelwald crazy right now i got two of my three guys are grindelwald and look at that so we've got both of these hats uh we are the mad hatter now the first one was up on the left side we used apparition point to get over there and then we had to jump up onto this ledge and smash some things and grab the hat the second one was actually over on the right we had to use defendu on a wall that's right the wall had red on it and we had to carve out and uh, get a little torch, which allowed us to melt some ice, which gave us the second hat, place them both on the switch, and then it gives us the old, uh, well, the secret, the secret language of parcel tongue. So we got the parcel tongue puzzle finished up, and now we've actually got the sword, and uh, well, we're gonna have to approach this little light spot here and uh, use the button indicator, which happened to be square for us. It could be the B button, depending on which platform you're on. Now, this is kind of fun as Ron is terribly mortified by spoilers. That's right, spoilers. And uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and switch characters. So you need Ron to go ahead and address the glowing circle that pops up in front of this ghostly mass here. And uh, uh, and then you have to switch to another character that is not terrified of spiders. Go ahead and remove the spider threat, and then back to Ron. Rinse and repeat three times, and that'll take us through this scene into the next. Now, I have to admit, uh, the next scene is, I guess, I guess it's really not a next scene, it's the next part of the scene. And I struggled miserably with this in story, and I'm going to continue that in free play. Now, I have to admit, I, you know, I understand what needs to be done here, but at the same time, clearly my method on how to do it is not 
uh, well, at the top of the list, because as it would appear, there's a bunch of bricks. We have to build these bricks up into this crazy, like, it's like a flower fan is basically what it is. And we have to use this fan to blow away these little ghost entities that are floating around. I'm sure there's a real name for them. I apologize. I don't know. I, I, I think it's, uh, I, I want to say it has, it's one of the Voldemort, it's Voldemort through the Horcrux, if I remember correctly, but I probably don't. I probably totally messed that up. But what we got to do is build this thing up, hop in it and then direct the fan towards those smaller little tornado ghost tornadoes and unfortunately I am getting this device built and every time I get it built this stupid thing knocks it over and I don't even get a chance to blow it's you know you gotta huff and puff and blow the house down no I don't get to huff or puff I build it all up and I'm huffing and puffing from that but I don't get to actually make it happen so as it would turn out I got really lucky uh, and I think it's this time right here. Yeah, so you can see the ghost attacks my character. Oh, maybe it's not this time. But anyways, it's coming up real soon. Look, look at this, a little ride on the flower power there. But uh, yeah, so eventually it knocks into my character and disappears. And that gives me just enough time to grab another character and hop on the old seat and get the, uh, the wind of blowing. So once you can actually get on this thing, it's really easy just to aim the flower left and right and kind of, uh, well, blow away the small miniature tornado. And eventually it takes them all down and uh, it actually brings back the glowing circle that we can approach it with Ron. So uh, there we go. We actually finally got it. So it seemed like it was never going to end and I apologize for that. Hopefully you've left this video and moved on as the collectibles have already been collected. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and check them out. We've got all four of the house crest pieces, which make, well, a super house crest. I guess it really just makes a house crest. But uh, we got all three of the character tokens. We got Harry, uh, Locket Edition, Ron in his underwear, woohoo, and Hermione in a gray coat. So I'm not sure. I don't really remember the gray coat. I remember the red dress. I remember wedding attire. I remember a lot of it. I don't remember the gray coat, though. I guess that's just what she wears out in the forest when she goes out there, right? I think, that, I think that's what that's all about. But we got plenty of studage thanks to our red brick stud multipliers. In fact, I've kind of been contemplating whether or not I should go get the other ones for the final segment. But hey, buddy, turn that frown upside down and uh, give us those gold bricks while you're at it. But what I meant by the red bricks is uh, we still have a couple of other red bricks available, uh, including stud multipliers. And we do have six more levels of free play coming up after. Well, we got actually what seven, eight, eight more levels of free play coming up. So uh, I was thinking maybe in between once we get to that last section, the fourth. It's not the book because they broke the last book into two sections of the game, two years, if you will, because uh, it should be five through eight. If the way the game's broken down, it should be five through eight, but it's five through seven. So, anyways, if you have an answer or a solution to why this is how it is, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. If you guys have any preference on us getting those other red bricks before we start, let us know. That would mean some free roam playage before finishing free play, which might be a little confusing, too. We usually like to finish the free play first and then do the free roam. So, we'll probably just do it that way. And in the end, we'll probably find a good place to farm some studs. And Because uh, there is a trophy achievement for getting, like, a gajillion studs. I don't remember how many it is, but it's pretty close to a gajillion if I remember right so anyhow uh, as for me that's gonna do it I got a couple more videos all ready for audio so this should be a busy day for video releases but uh, we'll go ahead and have to wait and see as always until next time Guess what? It's time to go.